talking about of mice and men, suggested by our good friend Len Foote of Hippo Horsey Donkey Monkey. Hippo Horsey Donkey Monkey! Who thought all those animals could live together in harmony? Len Foote did. Len Foote. You're good people. Of Mice and Men is about two guys who are migrant farmers. Living in California, they're living the cowabunga life. George Milton is like a small guy, but he's really smart. He's quick. He says things like, look at that green grass, that's real sharp. Sharp green grass, that's sharp green grass right there. And people are like, you're really charming, George. He tells a lot of really good jokes. He does magic tricks. He does shadow puppets. He'll extemporize a song. He'll take out his harmonica. Start singing the blues. And his friend, Lenny Smalls, who is not small at all. He's quite tall, y'all. They're the classic big dumb guy, small smart guy team. You know, kind of like these two, or these two, or even these guys. One could argue that these two would fit the bill. Lenny is kind of like a man child. He's basically like a five year old in a giant's body. He likes shiny things, and soft things, and pretty things, and good smelling things. You know how sometimes you'll see a puppy and you just want to pick it up and just be like, Oh, you puppy, I'm just gonna squish your face, you're just gonna squish it and squeeze it until you're not even a puppy anymore because you're dead. That thing is so cute. I just want to smush it with my hands. I want to take it in between my hands and smush it. Or you like see a baby and you're like, look at those chubby little legs and just want to take a bite out of those chubby little legs. <laughs> Lenny has that bad. They get this job on a farm. Not everybody's really big fans of George and Lenny, like this guy Curly. Not Curly from Oklahoma. Curly's the good guy in Oklahoma who sings songs about beautiful days. This Curly and that Curly are opposite Curlies. He's just a tiny little guy with a Napoleon complex. He's a fighter, he's a boxer, and he just needs to prove himself to everybody. Ladies, you've met these guys at the bar. Hey, let me buy you a drink. And you're like, no, thanks, I'm doing fine. And they like stand on a chair and start yelling over you and telling you like how honored you should be that they want to buy you a drink. Oh, please, let me bow to you, small man. You small, small man. He wears a glove full of Vaseline so that he can stroke his wife's tender face with his soft Vaseline-covered hand. Ugh. It's like seeping out the sides, and it's like, what's in your glove, man? Don't talk about my glove. It's my secret glove. Leave my, me and my jelly glove alone. I like my jelly hands and my jelly glove. My wife likes my jelly hands. She likes my soft jelly hands. And then I'm sure she's like, ugh, ew, not into it, ugh, gross, ew, it smells. It smells? No, thank you. So Curly's like over the Lenny and George thing. He's like, you know what, I'm feisty, I'm a man, I'm gonna put my dukes up and I'm gonna go for Lenny. And he's like winding up, getting his fist ready, pulls it back in the slingshot. Lenny is kind of like this big, dumb, gentle idiot. He doesn't want to hurt anybody, but his friend George is like, dude, you're humongous. Beat him up. He's a jerk. Nobody likes him. Lenny catches his fist. Boom! You can see Curly's face is like, oh, I have made a huge mistake. Lenny's just like, this is nothing for me. Like crushing bones all day, every day. Hashtag bone crushing Lenny. This is that hand that you keep so nice for your wife. Well, look what I'm gonna do with it. Crack, 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 crow. He has a big old glove full of sawdust and broken glass. But they're like, we'll tell everybody that you got beat up by this idiot man child. Unless you keep it to yourself. Oh man. Oh, close one. They almost got fired.